Welcome to Mythology Misfits, your one-stop destination for unraveling the mysteries of mythology. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights. Now let's dive into the enigmatic world of centaurs. Have you ever wondered about the enigmatic beings of Greek mythology, the centaurs? Their fascinating origin is shrouded in legend. Centaurs, the half-human, half-horse beings, are born of mythology, their existence woven from the threads of various tales. One such tale speaks of Ixion, a mortal king who coupled with Nephela, a cloud nymph. Their union gave birth to these extraordinary creatures. In another account, the centaurs are said to be the offspring of the god Apollo and the nymph Chariclo. These diverse narratives of their creation capture the essence of the centaur's mystique. The tales paint a picture of beings born from the extraordinary, the offspring of gods, nymphs and mortal men. Each story adds another layer to their captivating nature, making them one of the most intriguing creatures of Greek mythology. These mythical tales of creation provide the foundation for the centaur's unique and fearsome nature. Centaurs possess a unique blend of human and equine features that sets them apart from other mythical beings. These enigmatic creatures are often depicted with the upper body of a human, complete with a head, torso and arms, seamlessly fused with the lower body of a horse, typically from the withers down. This fascinating hybrid form results in a being that embodies the best of both worlds. The human portion allows for deafness, intellect and the ability to craft and use tools, while the equine half provides the centaurs with extraordinary strength, speed and agility. Such attributes make them daunting opponents in battle and skilled hunters in the wild. The sheer physical prowess of centaurs, coupled with their human-like ability for thought and emotion, makes them one of the most intriguing creatures in the pantheon of Greek mythology. This unique combination of human and horse grants centaurs an imposing presence in the world of Greek mythology. Centaurs are often depicted as wild and rowdy, yet some among them are known for their wisdom and nobility. Generally, centaurs are seen as beings of chaos and excess. Their character often leans towards the rowdy, the unruly, and the unabashedly wild. Fond of wine, they are known to indulge in bouts of intoxication, leading to revelry that is often marred by violence. This inclination towards the hedonistic is often linked to their association with Dionysus, the Greek god of wine, pleasure, and ecstasy. However, painting all centaurs with the same broad stroke of wild abandon would be an oversimplification. For instance, consider Chiron, a centaur known for his wisdom, nobility, and scholarly pursuits. Unlike his brethren, Chiron was a learned being, well-versed in the arts of medicine, astronomy, and other intellectual domains. His character stands in stark contrast to the typical image of the centaur, offering a more nuanced perspective on these fascinating creatures. Chiron's character challenges the stereotype, reminding us that centaurs, like humans, are capable of a wide range of behaviors and attitudes. They are not merely creatures of chaos and revelry, but also beings of wisdom, learning, and nobility. This diverse representation of centaurs underscores their complex and multidimensional character. Centaurs hold a significant place in Greek mythology, symbolizing the duality of human nature. These enigmatic beings feature prominently in numerous myths and legends, often playing pivotal roles that highlight both their raw, untamed power and their noble intellectual faculties. Picture the centaur Omeki, a grand clash that marked the narrative of the wedding of Pirithous and Hippodamia. This epic battle saw the centaurs pitted against the Lapiths, a testament to their formidable strength and warrior spirit. But beyond their martial prowess, centaurs were also known to be allies of gods and mortals, their wisdom and knowledge sought after in times of need. Yet it's their symbolic representation that truly underscores their cultural significance. The centaur, half-human, half-horse, stands as an embodiment of the untamed wilderness, a testament to the wild, primal instincts that lie within each of us. But they're not just symbols of our baser instincts, they're human half, serves to remind us of our capacity for wisdom, nobility, and civilization. So, the centaur, in essence, is a mirror held up to humanity. They reflect our duality, our struggle between the civilized and the primal, the intellectual and the instinctual. This is the rich tapestry of the human condition, woven with threads of wild instinct and rational thought, and centaurs, in their unique dichotomy, encapsulate this perfectly. Centaurs serve as potent reminders of the eternal struggle between civilization and the primal instincts within us all. They are, 
and will always be an enduring symbol of the complex dichotomy of human nature. The image of the centaur has long captivated artists, inspiring countless works of art, literature and sculpture. Indeed, the centaur's unique form, a blend of human and horse, has served as a fascinating subject for artistic exploration, from the dawning days of ancient Greece to the innovative periods of the Renaissance and beyond. In the cradle of Western civilization, ancient Greek pottery served as a canvas for depicting these mythical beings. Craftsmen etched scenes of centaurs engaged in epic battles such as the Centauromachi, or partaking in Dionysian revelries, these images frozen in time on clay communicate the centaur's wild nature, their strength and their penchant for chaos. As the centuries rolled on, centaurs pranced their way into the grandeur of the Renaissance. Painters like Piero di Cosimo and Sebastiano Ricci breathed life into these creatures on canvas, portraying them in a more humanized light. They depicted scenes of centaurs learning from the gods, showcasing their potential for wisdom and civilization a stark contrast to their earlier, more savage representations. In literature, centaurs galloped off the pages and into our imaginations. From the epic tales of Homer to the fantastical world of J.K. Rowling, centaurs have been portrayed as sage advisors, noble warriors, and symbols of untamed wilderness. Their dual nature continues to serve as a metaphor for the struggle between our civilized selves and our more primal instincts. Sculpture, too, has not been immune to the centaur's allure. From the intricate carvings of ancient Greece to the majestic statues of the Italian Renaissance, centaurs have been immortalized in stone and bronze. These three-dimensional depictions bring a tangible reality to the centaur's myth, allowing us to appreciate their power and majesty in the round. Even today, centaurs continue to symbolize themes of strength, freedom, and the eternal struggle between civilization and nature, reminding us of the enduring allure of the wild. As we gaze upon these artistic representations, we are invited to reflect on our own dual nature and the complex relationship we share with the world around us.